Welcome to Help For You Mock Exams. A few things I'd like to point out quickly are, first of all, to ask you to please review the pants, pants, and pointers, and secondly, make sure you quickly go to Pearson View. And although you can sign in here uh, and, of course, register for your exam there, more importantly, down here you'll see the Pants Pantry tutorial. Take some time, download that into your computer. It's a little .exe file. Now, the questions in there are of little significance, but the important thing is that you actually take some time to use the actual format you're going to take your test on, meaning you should practice how to pull up your lab values, how to skip a question, how to go back, etc. This way, this doesn't get in your way when you're taking your test. Now, these four different types of mock exams are all based off the same subset of pants parenting questions written by two of our staff members who are former test item writers for the NCCPA. So they're written specifically to teach you uh, not only the subject matter, but of course, how do you deal with one of these questions and how do you deal with the exam you're about to take. So the first one's pants parenting learning by system. By system meaning, in this case, I can choose what I want to study today, and let's say today I wanted to study cardiology. I can just look at cardiology questions only. Now, in this case, just like everything in our program, there's a full menu, and everything in the screen is interactive, meaning if I came here and I wanted to just look at question 18, or it was my third time taking this exam and I knew it was only 18 and 84 that I got wrong, I can just go to 18 and I can click, click menu to go back. So remember, you can always navigate here. You don't have to do the whole thing if you don't want to. When you answer these questions, they're very simple. So you're going to read your question. You're going to look at your potential answers. You're going to click what you think is correct. You'll see it turns blue. Now let's say I chose vagal, but I decided before I submitted, you know, maybe it's not vagal. Click it again, it turns black and then I would go click another answer. Okay, but I'm going to unselect the jocks and click vagal, and then I'm going to click submit. Now we see when we click submit, which one was right, in this case vagal was correct, which one we chose, the blue one, and then which are the distractors. Now by reading down here, this is a very specifically written explanation for you by those test item writers that explains to you what were the key points of the question you should have known to get you to vagal, why is vagal the answer, and why are these not the answer, in addition to some other key information. So that's how you're going to use this set of questions to help you to learn how to take the test. So if you get one of these questions wrong, you must take the time to read this and go back and figure out why did you get it wrong? How did you miss key? Did you miss something in the stem of the question? Did one of the distractors catch you? What is it? This way you'll train yourself not to make the same mistake, obviously, on the actual exam. Now, if we want to take, again, scored now by system, so another by system, I want to do just see how I do on cardiology today, let's say that, um, I can take the same set of questions we just saw, we're just taking them now, scored. So this should give me an answer of I'm 78% cardiology, etc. So read the question, a newborn infant has transposition of the great arteries, the mother most likely has which of the following conditions, and then we answer. Okay, now you'll see, in this case, it gives you the answer and it gives you the full explanation. Now when you're done, you're going to click Finish. All right, and this will give you a score, okay? And in addition to score, so our score was one, because we only did one answer, right? And then you can open details here, and it will show you these are all the questions. You'll see the ones you got right and the ones you got wrong. And this way, you can review the entire exam. If you want to retake it, you may retake it. Of course, we can just finish as we're going to do here. Now let's go back. If you wanted to take some of the mock exams, so these two are questions based on system. I'd like to do cardiology, I'd like to do pulmonary, etc. These two are based on actual mock type tests. What does that mean? It means there are 60 question tests, they're broken down by 16% cardiology, 12% pulmonary, 10% ortho, etc. This is more real world. Now, if you're going to be taking a PANRI, you're going to take four 60 question tests. So you can take four of these. If you're going to take a PANTS, you're going to be taking five 60 question tests. So take five of these. I'm going to open one just to show you. And in this case, it's going to be very much the same as what we just saw in our scored system. The only difference is that these questions are assorted. It's broken down as we talk, talked about, okay? So you're going to read the question and answer it again. 
So, so we've answered our question. You have a full explanation. You're going to push OK, and then you're going to finish. And just as before, it will give you a full score. Okay, and you can open the details to see which ones you got right, and of course, which ones you got wrong. And now you can retake or finish the quiz. So this gave you a real world pants pantry in the fact that it was 60 questions and the fact that it was broken down by 10% uh, cardiology, etc. Uh, but it didn't give you the timing. So if we would like to get a true real world pants pantry experience, we go to timed mock pants pantry. Timing is very, very important. You're going to take four pantry, five pants, sections like this of 60 questions in 60 minutes. You must get your timing down. It is terrible to run out of time and you've only done 45 out of the 60 questions, you're not going to do well. It's also bad to rush through because you're not sure of when your timing is going to expire and then do poorly because you rushed. So let's click one here and take a, a peek at how this would work. Very similar to the formats we've worked with in the last two or three. Uh, the only difference is you've got time. So you see you're going to be timed in one hour here and that will expire and it will shut off just like a real exam. Now when we read the question here uh, and we, we go ahead and pick our answer, once we've answered a few questions we'll click finish, OK, and then you can get your uh, results as, as before. So this gives you a much better real world example because it allows you to time yourself for those 60 questions and at the end you still can open up the review and see which ones you got right and which ones you got wrong. I hope this helps guide you through our mock exam uh, section and menu and best of luck in all of your studies.